very easy and then you can just sum them up to get the total dynamic head of 2253 so it's the the pump should be strong enough okay should be strong enough to lift the water to lift the fluid to go to this distance okay so that's the concept you need the pump is should be strong enough powerful enough to lift the water from the bottom hole to the distance of 2253 feet okay so that's the meaning of the head dynamic head and of course to be able to lift the liquid from the bottom hole okay to this distance you need to have a good pump and the good pump can be represented in the number of stages that the pump have the pump has okay here it's calculate calculated so what we need to input is actually head per stage head per stage will be based on the pump that you use okay so based on pump curve the unit is horsepower per stage and don't forget it's tdh total dynamic head per head per stage at 50 hertz okay and pump wear if you have zero percent in this case i use so in this current picture it's dn175 1750n at 60 hertz so i'm going to change that because the the the, the pump that i need to use is actually dn 2400 so let me delete it first and then the pump that i need is actually copy and then paste here okay so this is dn 2400 okay it's reda pump dn 2400 the optimum operating range is between 1500 to 3200 right Okay, so this is the best performance range between 1,500 to 3,200 barrel per day. So the target is 3,000. It's still within the good range, still below the maximum allowable, maximum possible rate. Normal housing diameter for inches. Okay, still good. It's still it's thin. It's we can still install it inside our inner casing inner casing diameter shaft diameter is this shaft cross sectional area is this in minimum casing size 5.5 inches so in this case we have 6.3 inches the casing inner diameter so it's still good and don't forget it's the end 2400 at 60 hertz Okay, so if you apply or if you operate your ESP later on in 60 hertz, you can directly use this, this pump curve. But if you operate it using 650 hertz, you need to do some adjustment. Shaft brake horsepower, standard and high strength, housing burst pressure limit, standard, buttress and welded. Okay, you can read that. Here is the capacity on the horizontal axis, it's the flow rate, and the vertical axis, the left vertical axis is the head, okay? This is the head we are talking about when we are talking about this, these heads. Actually, the total dynamic head that we need to provide. And then this is the pump efficiency and the power. So... Head will be shown by this blue curve, head, and then efficiency by this red uh, black curve, like a dome, and power, the red curve. Operating range is here between 1.5 and 3.2. Okay. So, yep. Okay. I need to change it to 60 hertz. And then I assume pump wear of 0%. Okay, for base case. And I 
I need to send it to back. So our target is actually 3000. So here, let's shorten the length there to touch the head curve. Be careful. Okay. All right. And then, okay. All right. So there. So the head starts from 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So head per stage will be 19. Okay, 19 horsepower per stage. All right. So stage required will be this, the total dynamic head divided by the head per stage. So I'm going to need at least 119 stages, but I can provide more than that, of course. Let's say I can provide 120 or 125. I check on my well flow simulation based on the database that I have. It's maximum at 125 stages. Okay. So yeah, later I will propose that the ESP will be equipped with 125 stages, especially if you also consider the pump wear. Okay, so stage required, 119 at least, but I'm going to propose 125. Okay.